we have 50 packs of Champion's Path. Get ready for our largest Charizard hunt yet. Alright guys, we're back. We pulled out our 50 packs of Champion's Path. Number 30 came from ETB and 20 came from 5 double V boxes. So let me show you guys the code cards. And the final one right here. As we go into our packs, right before that, I'm going to show you our Charizard V promo cards that we pulled from our three ETBs. They look to be in good, good condition. Um, and the centering is not too bad on these, I'm going to have to check later. But I am so excited to get started. Here we go for our first pack of Champion Path. I'm not going to go through the names because we do have a lot of packs here. Our odds, so hopefully, we can pull that Charizard. I do see something shiny in the back. I'm going to spoil it, but I do see something shiny in the back. Ooh, it is a Kabu. Very nice. I don't have this yet for my collection. Oh, I think the centering, I can't tell if it's mostly right centered. You can see right here, uh, there's a lot of space on the left side, so it's mostly heavy centered. And we do have a very nice foil here. So I'm going to go ahead and sleeve those up. That's a good sign. Kabu on the second pack. Nice, nice energy. Very nice. Let's go into our third pack. <laughs> There's the Kabu. Nothing there. The rares on this side. Oh, wow, look at that. And it's in a scorch. Sleeve that up. Next pack. It's interesting too. Um, the amount of packs we have, I can see that there are a lot of packs that are just uh, factory error cutted. Uh, there was one pack I saw that had the bottom of the of another pack being printed, so. Oh wow, what is going on? We are going to get all the energies here. <laughs> and I'm a champ. I am not a fan of a champ because of this set. I have too many Machamps. That is a nice mixture of energies we have here. And just from our first row, packs. For you guys, for the people.
Hatterene, and Cobham. Let me know how you guys feel about Champions Map. Are you still, uh, if, you buy, if you find any packs in the stores, are you picking them up, or you're just kind of done with the set at this point? I feel like I saw something shiny. We're going to go right into this. What is going on? No, it's more. Wow, we're gonna get all the energies. Just wow. We're getting any more energies. I'm gonna have to slide the kabu down just to make some room for these energies. Here's in the morning. And what's done with the first row? Two more packs. Each row has ten packs. Maybe at the end of this we'll judge um, the pools by row. I think that's what we're gonna do. So if so, the first row is winning with the Kabu and all of these hollow energies. Definitely not winning by a champ. 100% not winning by a champ. I'm kind of excited about uh, about doing this video because Champions Path was a set that brought me back. To Pokemon collecting. Oh, here we go. We got a Dreadnought V Max. I don't think I have this version of it. I might have to check in my collection, but that is a nice pull. Let's leave that up. And let me just create the first row. But yeah, like I was saying, um, Champion's Path got me back into Pokemon. So I was really, really hoping to pull this Charizard out of this set. I want to get the, go ahead and get that graded. I haven't gotten anything graded yet, uh, including Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So I'm just waiting to eventually go ahead and do that. I'm definitely going to send it out this year. Just want to make sure I send out as many cards as possible for the first one. Because I know those, P uh, those PSA um, turnover times are kind of ridiculous, but then again, there are a lot of people now, so, we'll fix pain, absolutely. I really feel like, if I get this Charizard, right, I'm sorry, when I get this Charizard, it's going to be in bad condition, because I pulled it from the pack the wrong way, so I'm trying to be careful. Here we go with another energy, and a hattery. Get a sleep for that. I'll just absolutely destroy this pack. I did pull a, actually two uh, suspicious blue tins in the secret rare um, variant. Every time I pull one of those, I just think about, wow, that could have been a Charizard. But nonetheless, it's a good card. I like the art. Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. Here we go. It's not like this. I think I saw something shiny. Maybe you guys saw it. I did. The fire energy, that's always a good sign. And a morning. 
Alright, so no big hits from this section. Looks like uh, section number one is currently winning. But hey, we pulled Charizard. Oh, definitely still something shiny there. Pulled Charizard, and any section that pulls that Charizard wins. Plus, another, another section pulls a Charizard. I mean, hey. The first stories of uh, someone getting both Charizard out of a single ETV, so. Who knows? Water energy and a Dreadnought V Max again. That is crazy. Okay, take that. I definitely need a Werewolf Lord. I know I need that. I haven't pulled that yet out of uh, this set. And we hope to get this energy. Okay, we have a few more packs on this one. This video shouldn't be honest, honestly too long. I'm trying to go as fast as possible, but Jim. we have just a few more packs section to go. I opened up a lot of Pokemon packs on this channel, but if you guys have noticed, I have opened up more Champions Pack packs than any other set, because I am really looking for that Charizard. I feel like the hype has died down a little bit for some people, but not for me. So this idea came for me when I actually was able to pick up five uh, double V boxes from Best Buy. That was before they started limiting people to Pokemon products. But um, instead of opening them immediately, I was like, you know what? This might be the time to do one of these videos. You know, someone opens up a crazy amount of Champions Pack packs. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but there's this guy who opened up 100 ETVs. I think it took him like four hours. And he, he, pretty, he, got, he got a lot of charges, I'm not gonna lie. But, oh, I see something. I you guys can see it, yep. Let's see. Come on, baby. Oh, here we go. Got the psychic energy. And a suspicious food tip. Oh, no. <laughs> That's my third one. I think it's off-center too. Let's leave that up. Let's see. Um, I think it's right. It's more right heavy, but again, I am not the expert on that. Last pack of the section. What can you get? covered up so I don't know what it is. And I'll tell you. Okay, let me just clean this up a little bit. Section two. I mean see that's what I'm saying. This could have been a Charizard. These are those were the pools from our double V boxes. That cover is a very nice pool. I know I also still need the uh, Gardevoir Rainbow Max as well. Second pack. Or I'm gonna say this is our 22nd pack, so we're almost halfway done. Yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of co-cards for you guys. So 
Hope you enjoy. And if you're coming from Instagram, thank you guys so much for clicking my link and viewing my videos. Because I know a lot of you do that, and I really appreciate that. I'm gonna sleep this up. Wow, we're gonna have a lot of energies. It's crazy. Go. When I do big videos like these two, like, trust me, I'm dying every day to open them up. But I'm like, no, you know what? I have to do one of these big videos. Where I open up so much product. Like with the uh, last uh, Charizard hunt that I did. Opened up so, more, so many of those gallery tins. Okay, now we have our common bolt just falling apart on me here. <laughs> Alright, here we go. It's strange, I think I've said this before, but it is so much more easier to open up Yu Gi Oh packs than Pokemon packs. Like, I don't know what they use for, for your uh, Pokemon packs, but <laughs> it's definitely like a greater industrial glue than it is for Yu-Gi-Oh packs, like they're more secure. Here we got a Galarian Crystal V, very nice. I do have this unfortunately, so that's going up on my eBay. If you guys are looking for any cards, make sure to check my eBay out. Or I do some stuff on Instagram as well. seem a lot more simpler than uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh can be <laughs> complicated, but okay, here we go. I gotta say, that first section really hit, like, so many things we got in that first section. section is almost over. We have two more packs left here. Again, nothing crazy. Fire energy, always a good sign. Let's see, let's see. Torpedo and Zagar. Last pack of section four. Remember, this was the first ETB section. We have two more ETB sections to go. Nothing crazy from section three. That right here. 
here. I may or may not have that energy, but let's see what we got here. it out so far in this video i want to thank you so much because your support is the world to me i've been recording videos for almost a year now which sounds crazy because you know covid and just how fast time flies Section 4 VX. Can we get something here? Just lost my footing there. Just a second. There we go. I think I might see something. Let's see. I'm also not like favoring, you know, like whatever charge I get, I'm gonna be happy with. If I don't get anything else after that, hey, guess I tried. We got an Incineroar B. I do have a lot of Incineroars. I've actually, I think I've sold at least two or three. I'm gonna put that here. Get rid of these cards. I don't think I have this one as well, but we'll check in the recap. So, I mean, this is a good way for me to do the video so you guys know, um, see the ratios of what we pulled. I have three TPs, ETPs, and uh, double B boxes. Army B. Um, I think I have this one. Or save that up. See, now the hits are starting to come here.
They have to move some bulk after this. Okay. Just gonna move some bulk in one second. Back here. Oh, okay, so we have a reverse fire energy and we have a dreadnought V, but look, like, that is definitely LP damage at that point. That's crazy. I have to sleep this hook. So we did end up getting a lot more V cards. Alright guys, we're down to our final 10 packs. I hoped it didn't have to come to this, but come on Charizard. I got 10 more chances here. Graphene and Obstagoon, like I've always seen them together uh, when I open up these packs. See, hopefully I pull this, but at the same time I'm hoping it's a good condition because like just telling me these ETBs, it's just not the best condition sometimes. I don't know if that's during the factory or transit to like the shops where they come from. But you know, the condition problem with uh, Pokemon is kind of big. Potion and Suspicious Food Tint again. Guys, these are four Suspicious Food Tint. Second um, one in the video. But, hey, I guess we needed more suspicious food I don't know what to tell you guys. Alright, let's get to our next pack. That was very spooky. Apologies if you're wearing uh, headphones. Champ, ah, he caught me. He was like very shiny at the edge here, so I thought maybe there, there would be something, but I guess not. Another champ, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, five more packs. Come on, Charizard. Grass energy. I do like the color green. Team Elder and Zubar. Four more packs. Got to more gold. Why is it 
so I'm sure what I'm dealing with here. <laughs> Give me one second, guys. I will say I am happy with getting the Kabu because that is a genuine hit for my collection. Versus research. Champions path. Can we do it? I really need the luck from those videos that do that pull Charizard from a double V box. Just four packs. Champions Path for our 50 pack opening. Let's see what we get. Kabu, which is really cool. Don't need that Gardevoir um, rainbow. We pulled a lot of energies in this one, which is crazy because um, these came from double V boxes. And Dreadnought V. And from our second section, again, we got a lot more energies. Dreadnought V Max, Suspicious Futin, number one with this video. And we got another Steel Energy, Galarian Ursula V. And here we got Incineroar, uh, Grap Lock V, Creamy V, Dreadnought V, and a Fire Energy Reverse Foil. And then finally, we got Swishes Putin and Galarian Ursula V. So, am I happy? I mean, I did get the Kabu. Uh, at least I got something out of these, to be honest with you. So that's definitely a hit for my collection, but a lot of these are gonna be going on my site, on eBay, and I will be posting it on Instagram. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a huge like, and comment down below what your favorite card was in this opening. Mine was definitely the Kabu. Very cool rainbow card here. And of course, last but not least, make sure you're subscribed so you can see more videos like this. Um, I really enjoyed opening up the packs. I did it for you guys too. For me, I wanted to get the Charizard. I did it, but definitely going to see me open up some more Champions packs in the future until I get that Charizard.